Hello YouTube, it's Michael from Michael's Mobile Detailing and today I'm going to show you my process for removing scratches. Today we're doing a silver package on this uh, 2022 Nissan Sentra. And starting with a decontamination wash, we have a little bit of degreaser with my Mr. Pink foam and the foam cannon. Uh, this foam offers a lot of lubricity for my synthetic perforated decontamination towel or, or clay mitt whatever you want to call it. Uh, making sure to get all rid of all the impurities and fallout and debris off this vehicle. Even the glass, you'd be surprised how easy it is to clean glass after you've uh, hit it with a clay towel. For under the hood I've got uh, all-purpose cleaner in my IK spray foamer and use a hog's hair brush to agitate. Then a rinse and under the hood looks like new. The car is now washed and dried and ready for a polish. Here's a scratch, it's about 8 or 10 inches long on the on the hood. And uh, I'm going to show you my process. Yours may differ, but this works well for me. First I start off with a 2000 grit sandpaper, uh, wet sand, and gentle strokes along the scratch. Just to level out the clear coat a little bit, make a little bit less work on the using the, the polisher. And there you go, ready for polish. So I'm using my Milwaukee uh, five inch dual action polisher. It's got a 15 millimeter throw. And I'm using a Rupes uh, microfiber coarse pad. And I combine that with a, a Sonax ultimate cut compound, which will make short work of the scratch. So this part of the hood where I'm working on, the scratch happens to be in, in a concave part of the hood. There's a little bit of a dip in there. Having a little bit of difficulty with a 5 inch pad. Um, I didn't have a pad for my 3 inch machine, so you know, like most detailers do, you make do with the going at correction speed. And I haven't slowed down this video at all. This is live and real time, so I can demonstrate my process. Guys, if you find this interesting or helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button so other people may find this video. And uh, feel free to leave a comment. If there's any other mobile details out there, please leave a message. Leave a comment, I'll get back to you. Yeah, again, I'm pushing down maybe a pound, pound and a half of pressure, just to make sure that uh, the pad's rotating and, and I'm getting into the, the concave part of the hood. and being very careful not to heat up the, the panel. Oh, it's starting to look better already. I can still see some remnants of that scratch. Parts of that scratch were a little deeper than others. Again, we're not looking for perfection, but we're looking to greatly improve the, the aesthetics of the hood. By the time I'm finished, I don't think the owner will even notice it's still there. Parts of that scratch were a little deep, kind of into the color coat, well past the, the clear coat. But again, as mobile detailers and the equipment that I have, I have no problem getting rid of scratches out of clear coat. The deeper ones, you know, they take a little bit more work. You also have to understand every time you polish a scratch out, you're removing good paint, you're removing good clear coat. Sometimes going after the deeper scratches, you're not doing the customer any favors, you're causing more damage to the vehicle. Yeah, it's starting to come out nicely.
Oh, that's almost got it. I think we've got enough cutting done there. I'm going to switch over to the polish. I'm using a Rupa's um, fine microfiber pad. Combine that with the Rupa's uh, advanced all-in-one compound. And as you can see, I'm going much faster. My arm speed is faster. This is polishing speed, or before I was going uh, correction speed. I'll be doing the entire car with the, the one step polish I'm doing now. Well, that looks a lot better. Let's see a comparison. before and after much better well guys thank you don't forget to hit like and subscribe tell your friends and leave a comment bye for now